So do you want to look like this? Do you want to get this toy in Zara like caverns? Well, here is how. We're gonna go through a quick and easy guide on how to earn the blazing shadow flame cinder from Zara like caverns. It's one of the few available toys in the new zone. This one, of course, is a particularly juicy one because it gives you one of the <laughs> one of the more important things people go when looking for toys, which is an appearance modifier, a transmog, something to make your character look different. This one is also particularly good because unlike many of the toys that Blizzard makes, which have a five or ten minute duration with a two or three hour cooldown, this one is actually amongst the best because it has a ten minute duration with just a 15 minute cooldown. So it's like a 66% uptime for this appearance of you being covered in shadow flame. Now let's go with the quick and easy answer rather than giving you the whole guide of what to do. The quick and easy answer is fork out around 10 to 15,000 gold to actually buy what is needed. Because what is needed for this, uh, for this toy to be able to open the chest is an Onyxia scale cloak. This is the cloak that used to be needed back in vanilla to protect yourself for some fire damage uh, back in the day in Blackwing Glare, for example. It is craftable by leather workers with vanilla skill. And if you equip it, you're able to open the chest. Now, obviously, given that this cloak is now usable for a, a new expansion toy, the price has been gouged to oblivion. So if you don't, if you don't mind having to spend gold, then the tier LDR quick and easy answer is just go to the auction house, buy the cloak and then go in this exact location to pick up the, the chest and the toy. That's it, the guide is done, go and get your toy. If you don't want to spend money, then I'm afraid you will have to start looking for one of your older characters with some leatherworking skill or and some tailoring skill because the way you can craft the Onyxia scale cloak is number one, having at least 300 leatherworking skill, first of all, and number two, having some 290 tailoring skill to be able to craft the cinder cloth cloak. You take the cinder cloth cloak together with the scale of Onyxia and you put them together to craft the Onyxia scale cloak. So because neither of these reagents are bind on pickup, you can have a tailoring character and a leatherworking character. You don't have to have them both at the same time. The problem, of course, is that it requires you to have a very high skill from a, a profession back to the days of vanilla, right? And nowadays, if you might be thinking, ha, I have the quick and easy solution, I am just going to level up the entire profession up to 300 skill very quickly. No, no, it's still gonna cost you quite a lot. You are probably going to end up having to spend just about the same money that you would have spent by straight up buying the Onyxia scale clock if you don't have one of these two professions maxed out from, from Classic already. Also, as a reminder, just in case right now you are logging in all of your older characters and going into the void storage or your bank to see if you have a leftover Onyxia scale cloak, the chest, the actual, the actual chest you need to open requires level 70. So if somehow you have a level 30, 40 or 50 character that has an Onyxia scale cloak uh, in the bank, then it doesn't work because it needs to be level 70. If you have the Onyxia scale cloak in the bank, unequipped, still not used, then the Onyxia scale cloak is bind on a hip. So you can still trade it, you can still send it to one of your level 70 characters to go and open the chest. So if you happen, if you happen to have a tailorer at almost 300 skill from classic, you can craft the cinder cloth cloak. If you don't have a tailor, that's still okay, because even though the Onyxia scale cloak price has been spiked up hugely, the cinder cloth clock also has been spiked up, but just to a thousand gold. One thousand gold is quite low nowadays, so you can ignore the part where you need a high skill tailorer from, from classic to get this cloak. But however, you will still need the high skill leather worker. 
once you buy from the auction house this cinder cloth cloak you can go to onyxia's lair you can go to onyxia's lair kill onyxia and skin onyxia to get a scale of onyxia without having to spend money also in this one it's even easier because you don't even need to have skilled skinning from classic even if you have one skill even if you have one point in in skinning you still are able to skin onyxia and to get some scales of onyxia then once you have the scales and you have the cloak that you bought from the auction house you can craft the onyxia scale cloak if you have classic leather working if you have if you have classic leather working up to 300 or so but somehow you don't have the Onyxia scale clock actual recipe so you don't find it in your profession window that's because you need to go and kill Onyxia you have to kill Onyxia loot the head the head will give you the quest right the quest to turn in once you turn that quest in if you happen to be a leather worker with 300 skill or more from classic you will also be given a follow-up quest which will send you to a jolly guy that will give you the recipe, will, will teach you the Onyxia scale cloak. So the TLDR for earning this new toy transmog is to either spend 10 to 15,000 gold straight up, you don't really care about it, or be someone that has a roughly 300 skill point tailorer plus 300 skill point leather worker to make this cloak completely for free or be someone with at least 300 skill points in leather working spend 1000 gold to buy the base cloak without needing to craft it with tailoring and then finish the craft as a leather worker that is how you can get this new toy from zaralek caverns that requires the onyxia scale cloak to be able to open so this was the quick fire guide on how to obtain this toy i hope it was useful and i hope it helped some of you save a few thousand gold without having to buy the whole cloak from the auction house i'm going to leave you with this to the rest of your thursday usual thanks and congratulations of course to patreon supporters and to all of you who support in other ways like like and comment down below subscribing to the channel itself and following me over in places like twitter as well as my stream on twitch so with this out of the way thank you guys again for watching see you guys tomorrow and in the meantime i just hope i just hope blizzard doesn't nerf this toy i already see it may the 9th hotfix blazing shadow flame cinders cooldown is now two hours